How's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech, and we are here at Bellevue Santos Elementary School for another episode of Battle of the Bands Elementary School Edition. Uh, over here, a little challenging area, particularly for Verizon. Um, there's a site here. Everyone's on it except for it's maybe a, maybe a mile out this way. It's a really tall site. at and is very high up on it. Uh, Dish and, and T-Mobile, they're on it too. They could be a little higher, but Verizon's nowhere to be seen on it, and they they definitely need to get on that site. So, but I mean, we're just gonna call it how we see it. Go ahead and test. I don't know what the carriers do here. I've never actually been to this school before, so I don't. I passed by it plenty of times, but I've never actually sat here and run a speed test to see who was the best. So it's first time. My first impressions on the situation. Uh, Dish doing very well at 39 ping times. 174 for the download a four millisecond jitter which is really nice uh uploads could be better but they're not bad they're usable uh 4.39 for the upload really good to see uh second we'll go ahead and do uh verizon so i'm the most concerned about them and we will see what they do give it a sec load speed test Okay. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some 5G UW. Okay, we won't. Hey, at least they're usable because if you go a mile down the road, it's, it's not happening. These speeds will be like one megabit down. They really need to get on this site. I hope they do. They've been doing plenty of co-location, so I hope this makes it onto the list. So far, no permit uh, for it. As you can see, I'm not messing around. You see the upload just is about to fail which tells you if you go inside of the school you are not going to have a good experience on for there it is you won't have a good experience on Verizon in this school unfortunately so next up AT&T and I I expect a very fast speed test from them because they are very well placed on the site uh, behind us about two miles out behind us but I also noticed that the site has is under a lot of strain. And you can see it. So this site needs uh, 5G plus like yesterday. Lots of strain. Crazy when Dish is doing better than the top two, the big two. Big Red, Big Blue, Death Star, and Dish is killing them. And just to show you, this is not a fluke. I didn't. Even, I thought they do better than this. So I'm actually just as surprised as you guys are. I thought it would be a much better showing from AT and T. So they do have service here, right? If you go inside, I think you'll have some type of service. I don't think it's going to be good service, but I think you'll have something. Okay, 57 ping time, I believe. Let's check that. Yeah, and then we have 16.7 uh, for the download and almost 4.87 for the upload, five millisecond uh, jitter. Not bad from at and I mean, we'll see. Last but not least, T-Mobile. And once again, I know they're on UC. I, ju I just don't know how they're gonna do. It could be good, it could be bad, I'm unsure. They do have the most density, so I expect a good showing. Okay, T-Mobile pushing a little bit over 200. Hold on real quick. Fingerprints everywhere. Wipe that down. Okay. Uh... 33 for the uh, ping time, 256 for the download, 2.44 for the upload, 17 millisecond jitter. I can tell you inside, I don't think any carrier is great inside. I'm pretty sure you will lose N41 inside. Uh, I think N71 can handle itself though. And overall, I would say either Dish or T-Mobile is the best service at this school. It might be Dish. It might be. I'm unsure of it. 
They are, I think they're slightly lower on the site than T-Mobile, if I'm not mistaken. But let's just, let's let's do the test, right? Let's do the test. Okay, no problem. No problem. A little bit of a problem, but no problem. Verizon, I, I maybe it'll load, I don't know. That's going to be interesting to see. Not going to sit here and, uh, and say they won't. Maybe. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, well, they're working. At least out here. You can tell once you go inside the Sunogo, though. Ah, there it is. So Verizon, uh, pretty bad. Yeah, okay, well, it is what it is. Everybody can't be good everywhere. AT&T. I think they'll be fine. Yep, one. Two. Uh, a little bit, but it's okay. It works. Okay, so at and is doing fine, at least out here. I can't speak for inside. And, uh, forgot who's like, oh, T-Mobile. Trying to find the YouTube on here. Nothing to hide, nothing to hide. Ah, and okay. This is something interesting. Hold on, let's make sure that wasn't a fluke. Okay, I'm, I'll carry them to it. Okay, on. Okay. And on the upload, we got one Not as responsive as you think, but the ping times weren't that great, so. But it is working. So, they all good. Uh, they all technically work except for Verizon. They're the big L here. I, I knew coming in they were going to be the L because I knew they needed. There's a neighborhood over there, and they need to be on this site so desperately. So desperately. So, that's going to do it for the video for today, guys. Uh, this is. I don't remember if it's part four or five. I want to say it's the fifth one. Um, yeah, tell me what you guys think so far of who's winning at these elementary schools. From what I see, it's T-Mobile. They're killing them. Um, yeah, and if you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 12352 uh, or X, formerly known as Twitter, at 12352. And until the next video, I'm out.